Hey my dear friends, once again welcome back to the channel, I am Gaurav here and that's the 29th video of this series. And in today's video we're gonna create two more UI panels, one for win and one for the game over panel. So what are we waiting for, let's get started but before we begin as I always say if you're new in the channel then please check out our previous videos first. Also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon, it's absolutely free. Alright so to create a win and a game over panel. First of all, we need to create another separate canvas and in it we'll put everything related to the win and the game over panels and I'll name it win and game over canvas. Then set its scale mode to scale with screen size and set its reference resolution to 2400 by 1080 and then match its height to 1. Same as we did with the other canvases. Now within that we'll create three panels, game over panel, win panel, and then lastly, are you sure exit panel 2. Now under the game over panel, we'll create two UI images. One for the background image and one for our text background so that the text stands out slightly from the rest of the screen. And we'll call them BG image and BG image bar. Then I'll stretch it all over the screen by selecting these predefined rect anchor preset. Here, while holding down the all button and then click on that preset which is on the bottom right corner. Okay, for the time being, I'm temporarily disabling the main menu canvas so that we can able to see our win and game over canvas, right? And then here on the image component, I'll pass an image which I've downloaded from the internet. Now down here on the project tab, I've created a new folder called game art. And you see here, I have three sprites in there. And if you want to download them, then I've already given their links below in the description box. If you want, you can download them for free. Now select them all and set their texture type to sprite 2D and UI. And then don't forget to hit the apply button. Now drag this game over image into the BG image, then reduce its alpha value to somewhere around 100 so that it will look slightly transparent. Now click on the game over panel, give it a black background color, then select BG image bar here. First we will change its width and height and I'll set 2400 to the width and 480 on the height. Then give it a black background and reduce its alpha value to around 200. Now here within the game over panel, we'll create a new UI text game object and we'll call it you lose. Then under its text input field, we'll write game over. Do you want to play again or exit? Then make it a bold and Italian and increase its font size. Then align it to the left center and now increase its rect size and move it a little bit up and a bit left. And now we need to create two buttons, one to reset the game and another one will exit the game. Here within the game over panel, I'm gonna create a UI button and I'll name it again button. Then I'll color both of its normal and highlighted color palettes to green. Then on the normal color palette, I'll reduce its alpha value to 100, then increase its size. Then here on its text game object, I'll type again on its text input field and make it bold, increase its size and color it to the bright white. Then I'll move that button little bit down and a bit left. Now let's create an exit button and to do this I'll just duplicate the again button and change its name to exit button and then here on the button component I'll color it to the red and then on its text game object I'll write exit on the text input field and then move that button to little bit right. Perfect. Now next step let's set up the win panel. Here Again, I'll create two image type game objects and one text game object. Um, let's just duplicate them from the game over panel cause it's gonna be almost identical. And then here on the BG image, I'll pass this gamer image to the source image slot and I'll give it an orange color. Um, wait a second, let me just deactivate the game over and are you sure exit panels for now. All right. Now click on the win panel and change its color to the black and increase its alpha value to maximum. Then here, I'll rename it to you win. And, and here on the text input field, I'll write a message which will pop up whenever a player wins the game. Congratulations, you won. Press OK to go to the main menu. Then make it to the center. Now 
let's create an OK button and we'll call it OK button. Then on the inspector tab, I'll change its height and width. I'll give it a 500 on the width and 100 on the height. Then move it a bit down and here on the button component, I'll give it a purple color. Then on the normal color palette, I'll reduce its alpha value to 150. Then here on the text game object, I'll write OK on the text input field and then make it bold and increase its size and I'll give it a white color and then deactivate it. And now next step, let's set up a confirmation panel to exit. And to do this, first of all, just get rid of this cause I'm about to duplicate it from the exit menu canvas and I'll rename it and I'll call it Are You Sure Exit Panel 2. And we're pretty much done enough here. So let's make it functional. Now let's open the main menu script and down here we'll create a new function to restart the game and we'll call it restart game. And from here we will load scene 1 so that whenever a player presses the again button then the game will restart from the first level. So here we will write scene manager dot load scene. But now here we are getting these red squiggly underlines cause there is a particular namespace is missing which is unity engine dot scene management. So let's add it. Now I'm gonna show you a simple and quick way to add any required namespace. Just click on scene manager and then press the control button and the dot button or you see a full stop button and then press enter. Now you see there is no more errors and those red squiggly underlines are also gone. And if we scroll up to the top, then we see that we have successfully added a new namespace. Now here in these parentheses, we'll write the name of the scene which we wanna load. In our case, it's the first level which is sample scene 1. And yeah, keep in mind that the spelling should be exactly the same as it is on the project. So the spell mistakes will not be tolerated, otherwise it'll not work and it'll give you an error. Now here on the awake function, we're pausing our game which seems fine for now, but we certainly don't want that every time when the game loads to next level. Then the player have to keep clicking on the play button on every iteration over and over again. That would be really annoying. So to deal with this situation, here we will add a condition and the condition is that to disable the main menu canvas if the current scene is not a first level. So here if scene manager dot get active scene dot build index is not equal to zero and now here we need a game object type variable which will hold the main menu canvas. Now up here serialize field private game object and I'll call it underscore main menu canvas. Then down here we will deactivate it main menu canvas dot set active false and then just return. And then before deactivating the main menu canvas, we also have to make sure that whether the main menu canvas is present on the current scene or not. Cause maybe at some point we'll remove the main menu canvas from our specific scene. Then at that time we don't wanna see any null reference exception error on the console tab. Therefore if the main menu canvas is null, then just simply return. And we are done on the main menu script now. Open the health script from where we will trigger the game over panel. Then here first of all we will create a game object type variable and we will call it game over panel. Now down here within the destroy vfx right here after flashing the thunder flash we will activate the game over panel but if it's not an enemy otherwise it will give error and remember we are sharing the same health script with player and the enemy. So here we have to check. If it's not an enemy, then we will set it to active. Game over panel dot set active true. Now, whenever our player is destroyed, then freeze player's movement, stop shooting, and then destroy the player's body, and then at the same time show the thunder flash effects. And if it's a player, then show game over panel. All right, so we are almost done here. Now save it and let's quickly switch back to the Unity. Let it compile. And here under the game over panel click on the again button then here on the on click function we will add an event then drag the UI game object here and then select restart game from the list. 
then add two more events on the exit button firstly whenever you want to exit the game then the final confirmation panel should pop up on the screen so here we'll add are you sure exit panel 2 then select set active bool and set it to active then at the same time we want to disable the game over panel so drag this game over panel to the second slot and then again under the game object select set active bool and we will leave it to inactive okay next we have to set up the are you sure exit panel 2 and here everything will remain same except no button now under the no button we need to change resume button to restart game and then save it and we are almost done here now next step to set up the win panel and i'm gonna create a new scene then select ui game object and event system and copy both of them now let's switch to the scene 3 and paste them here then deactivate the first five canvases and under the game over and win canvas we also have to activate win panel and then under the win panel select the ok button and here we will add an event and then drag the ui game object in there and select the restart game function from the list now save it and then open the scene one and reactivate the main menu canvas and copy win and game over canvas then paste them on the scene 2 under the ui game object and that's all we have to do to create a win and game over panel now at this point you may ask why did i create a separate scene just for making the win panel well it's because i want to create a credit scene where i'll mention all of my supporters and those free websites where i was downloaded my game art music and sound effects and it'll be awesome isn't it so let's quickly pass the main menu canvas on the main menu script then pass the game over panel on the player's health script and do it on all the scenes and now don't forget to add scene 3 on the build index list otherwise it'll give you errors now let's test it and hit the play button and it looks everything fine awesome well so guys that's all in this video and in the next video we'll build our game for the first time and run it on the computer so till then keep learning keep practicing and i'll meet you in the further upcoming videos for now see you later